This is Small Z Surgery. Hey, what's up? This is Bradley Simpson. You're listening to Small Z on Nova. Well, the people you run into when you're on the other side of the world. Bradley Simpson. We literally bumped into each other. You, I've so never asked weird. you this. Brad or Bradley? Whatever you, you all, like. No, I've but been going by Bradley. You have. And I was just curious, does everyone call you Bradley or do they call you Brad? Like your friends, if we were at the pub. Uh, hey, got, Brad. <laughs> they've got other names. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, it's always been Brad usually and then Bradley when I'm in trouble. Yeah. Um, but well, no. you're definitely not in trouble. Okay, that's definitely. Good to know. Thank you. Um, um, great to see you, man. Yeah, you too. Are you enjoying London? I, lo- I love it. I love your summer. Your summer's fantastic. What summer? Yeah, I know. What that's summer? my point. That is, that, that, <laughs> that is that is the point. Like you've been lucky enough to travel the world. You must realize how awful the English weather is. Oh, it's is. terrible. It's <laughs> particularly bad. This is the one day it hasn't rained, and it's July, <laughs> um, and it's still cloudy. I mean, yeah. Don't don't. I don't want you telling any any fibs because you're right. Sure, it's the first day it hasn't rained, but it's not like the blue sky is out. It's still no, grey and overcast. No, it's grey, horrible. But also, it's that annoying temperature where it's really muggy. Yeah. So you sweat in when you get off the tube. It's, like, and you know what, like what I pug. find funny about English people is that they claim that this is humidity out. This is not humid. You this should, is humid. You are in Byron Bay in the middle of January. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's humid. But see, you can dress for the humidity there. I had my. You know what I learned when yeah. we were in Byron Bay? Yeah. Oh, you've got your dogs out. And I was like, what? <laughs> There's no dogs with us. And they were like, no, your feet are out because you're wearing flip-flops but, or whatever. So yeah. now I've, you can have your dogs out yeah. in Byron Bay. You can't walk around with your dogs out in this humidity. No, you can't. But everyone in, in, in London walks around in Crocs. Do you know the <laughs> amount of Crocs in public I've seen in this country? What's your position on Crocs? Uh, I, I'm coming around. Are you? I, I look versatile. Yep. Uh, are they comfortable? Carefree. Can be. Oh. Can be. You've got to wear them in. What? Oh, really? Do you, I don't know if you're old enough, but <laughs> growing up, uh, they used to have these uh, slides, flip flops. Yeah. They were called masseurs, and they had. <laughs> that's what they were. They were called masseurs, right? Yeah. And in Australia, at least, and then they were actually like uh, the whole base of them was like. Uh, you were standing on nails, like they were little stand-up oh, knobs, so and so it was like though. massaging. Yeah. No, it wasn't comfortable <laughs> yeah, at all. But awful. after you got your foot into it, you're like, "Ooh, I enjoy this." No, that's like a weird. It's a weird. Anyway, that's where I met the Crocs. <laughs> the Crocs have okay. these little. No... Do you have a pair of Crocs? I don't, but mm. James from the band loves a Croc. Does he loves a Croc, and then a couple of my mates love Crocs as well. And I've never been like. And they'll be like, yeah, but you can put them in sports mode and run around. And I'm like, yeah, but like, you can also you can buy trainers. You can also bedazzle them too. Okay, you know? yeah, 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 you, could, like that. <laughs> you can like do that. that. Um, maybe I'll get a pair of Crocs yeah. and see how Feed the rest go. of your English summer. Just yeah. trial, trial them. Just <laughs> okay. trial them. Just okay. trial them. Um, it's been a couple of years since we've spoken. Um, that Now, the band is not broken up, correct? No. No, let's put not. that out there. Let's the band put that is. To rest, that was yeah. my first question. It's like, so are the vamps done, or are you no. coming back together? Or is this this is this this one direction? Like, we're going on a hiatus. <laughs> we will get back together. <laughs> Harry ain't ever coming back. Uh, no, but the vamps are not done, right? No, no, we're still we're we're best mates. Contractually obliged. We're to still, still work in with. a horrific contract. No, <laughs> we're genuinely best mates. We're going to come back. We've got a tour at the end of the year in the UK where we're doing the first album in full, which we've never done. But we're just kind of taking a pause between yeah. albums, and I'm like really enjoying. Well, it's been ten years, right? It's been ten years. You, cha- albums, you, you ten changes years. like people, and you. I mean, I guess each of you uh, creatively want to exercise Try a different part of your yeah. brain, right? I think so, and I think it's really healthy as well. It's been really healthy because James and Connor are doing their own thing. And I hadn't necessarily planned to do this, but then a couple of years ago, I started writing a couple of songs, and I was like, this feels like the beginning of what I would want to sound like if I were to do a solo album. Yeah. And so it kind of snowballed, but it's it's really healthy in the sense of like when we do come back to write music or when we have conversations, everyone's fulfilled in other areas and then also can bring all of that new inspiration or technique or whatever An it experience. is. An experience. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Um, all right, so you're on the verge of uh, debut solo 
artistry. Yes. Yeah, yeah. How are you feeling inside? We're going to... The inside. song comes, So the song comes out next Screaming. week. Screaming. Screaming. <laughs> so the song comes out next week. We're going to... We only have the teaser trailer <clears throat> bit we're going to listen to. But how are you feeling internally? You're screaming? Are you nervous? Are you anxious? I feel good. Like, I'm excited. Are you medicated? <laughs> <laughs> I feel good. No. <laughs> no, I'm caffeine fueled at the moment. Sure. Yep. Um, but no, I, you know what? I'm like super proud of the song spent like two years making the out so the album's like pretty much done okay so i, I want to put the album out next year and i'm just excited for people i feel like people are getting an insight into a side of me that they haven't before in the band and yeah. i'm getting to like explore musical influences that i've never ex- never explored and i'm just excited for people to kind of dive into it do you know what i mean i want to create this world that people can dive into Nice. Well, let's take a listen to it. This, this is, song comes out next Friday. Mm-hmm. Uh, Daisies is the track. Let's take a listen to what we have so far. I've been picking daisies. Got a little burn in the Saturday sun. Watch this dream I'm chasing. Running through the field to my feet going on. And I'm falling through your fingertips. Ever wonder what the story is? Tell me about the song. Where, where, where are you writing from? What experiences are you, are you sharing? Drawing different on. sides, are you drawing from different sides of experience than you were when the Vamps were writing. What, what can you tell me? Uh, the song's written in my attic in mm. my house, um, which sounds like a that's weird a rich person dungeon. thing. Like, no, no, no. It's not like a oh my attic. It's like um, it's like a tiny little room that I put a desk in a studio. Sure. In. Um, but it's quite nice. So like, like does okay. Right in a tiny this is how I know. Does the attic have? Uh, do you have to pull down a staircase, or does it have like a door to it? It's a ladder. It's a ladder. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's so a ladder. A legit, it's an attic. You're in the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm in the <laughs> roof. You're in the roof. <laughs> like my neighbours hate me. Um, <laughs> what would your neighbours say about you? That was a question I wanted um, to know. Would they? Would they? Angela. Yeah, is your neighbour? To my right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Would she? Would she uh, are you a good? Would you take her bin in if I she left so. it out? We share bins. You share bins. That's okay. how like that's how tight me and Angela people are. you are. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. yeah. We, we usually would have like two recycling, two mm. bin bins. Mm. And as soon as I moved in, we had a chat, and she was like, "I'm well, gonna give put this of, to you." Yeah. How do you feel about sharing bins? I was like, Angela. Let's go. I'm never here. I'm never, never here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm never here. But when I am here, I'm gonna fill that, that bin up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Um, are you nervous at doing it on your own? Is there, are you are you living in the confidence, believing you can do it, or are you? No, I'm not saying that some, you can't do it. Yeah. But I'm just curious to know. I like, wasn't before, but th- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I, you should be worried. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, yeah, I'd be lying if I said there wasn't some nerves. I think there's such a comfort and a confidence that comes with being in a band with three best mates. Mm. And it's essentially like, we used to call our tours like the stag do because we were yeah. just having a laugh like all the time. And I think I didn't realize the amount of confidence and comfort I got in that until I did this. But at the same time, it's like so uncomfortable doing this in, yeah. in certain ways. That it's like, the, I really feel like I'm pushing myself, which is exactly yeah. where I wanted to be. And I'm growing in the confidence and my ability to do stuff. Um, and I think that's like exactly what I wanted from all of this, yeah. as well as making the music. I'm like I'm challenging myself in a way that I haven't in a long time. So I think I'm excited for you. Thanks, mate. I'm very Thank excited you. for you. Um, is it, it's it's been ten years, right? You've been making music for like now. Is yeah, it ten years. It's, it's eleven oh years now. Eleven years now. Uh, oh, you would have done a lot of interviews now. over your over your yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, right? a lot with you. I wonder a how lot, many yeah, a lot with me. Done. I don't know how many we've done. Can oh, we, we, pull we, that could, up? Can we, we could we could we could count we could count that up. But I do probably want to tell you. I probably you. I would imagine five seconds of summer would probably have I would have I think 80, uh, 80 something interviews I think I've done with them over the years oh my god yeah, yeah. I was playing I was playing them when no one was playing yeah, them when awesome. it was like god I don't even think they can hold a tune and they would respect <laughs> me for saying that and I always and I always say this to anyone and, and, and I've said this to a bunch but you know when you've been in a group for as long as you have and then you go solo I always say you know uh Eighty percent splits way better one way <laughs> than it does when you have to share it four ways. Listen, we're not doing it. For that. <laughs> doing it for that. <laughs> you may not be, but I certainly am. <laughs> <laughs> I wondered why you never had another presenter on this. That's show. it, because again, eighty percent goes better one way than it does splitting two ways. Um, 
<laughs> now the song's coming out. I know you got the Vamps tour uh, mm. that you're playing around the UK. Are you going to do your solo shows? Yeah, so I've got Europe and UK at the end of the year. So basically from September, I do a Vamps tour for a month. And then I've got Europe for three weeks on my tour. UK for three weeks on my tour. We're looking at doing some US dates before the end of the year, potentially. Yeah. And then we're actually, as of three days ago, mm. looking at Australia dates. Well, we will have you Let's back in a heartbeat. So I would love we to We will have you back. back. You'll yeah. put it around our summer. You can yep. get a cheeky little holiday oh, in there. Back to Byron Bay. I Absolutely. got a pair of jeans when I was last in Byron okay. Bay, right? Mm. The, my favorite jeans ever. Like, I love them, like, really? kind of brown denim. Yeah. And then three weeks ago, I got my suitcase stolen on the train. Are you joking? No. Got stolen on the train, out of the baggage. I appreciate that you are also a man of the people catching the train. Yeah, jumping on the train. Also, it's not like my suitcase is, like, bedazzled. Like, no. it's not, like, an attractive, I'm going to nick yeah. that. Um, and they had those pair of jeans in. Well, you so have to come back and I'll get another pair. Back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear about the jeans. Thank you. It's a, it's a sensitive. That is a that is a sad. That is it's sad. Man. I heard. I, you know what? My it's TikTok is full of people having their phones stolen. Really? Walking along streets in London. Like apparently mm. there's an epidemic of like you just yeah, there, there like walking and texting. Someone comes past on a on bike. On like a bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, yeah. gone. This was before you were flying in to spend a week in London. Yeah. And now and now I. I have everything on my person. <laughs> I have like, I have like, I keep all my cash just strapped to my, <laughs> strapped to to my you, body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. Um, it's great to see you, man. You we'll too. have you back in Australia anytime. Congratulations on the uh, on the solo career. Uh, I'm very excited for you, Thanks, and um, we'll see you down under with hopefully some shows very soon. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. Smallsy Surgery is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.